Hey guys, Lance here. So recently I've been playing with a few 3D printers. I bought one from uh, Creality, um, which I actually returned. It was a pain in the butt. But I recently got uh, the Ender 3 Pro. And that sucker, after a little bit of leveling, it turned out to be one of the best uh, 3D printers I've worked with um, for compact and uh, you know home use. I had the MakerBot, um, uh, I think it was 2X uh, replicator, the dual extruder, which at the time was like unheard of at your desk, so to speak. Um, and then uh, this uh, Ender 3, which I'm working with here, I just printed a GoPro nut. Um, I don't know if you could see that. It just got done. It's a bad print because I pushed plastic through the extruder because I ran out of plastic here. And I was trying to take this and, um, well, as you can imagine, trying to shoot it through, it uh, kind of messed it up here. But it has great adhesion. I don't know if you can see. Let me zoom out here. So it's on there pretty good. I'm actually going to have to reprint it, I think. Let's see if I can get that sucker off. Yep. There we go. But otherwise, it did a really good print otherwise, but yeah, as you can see here, um, if I didn't push the extrusion, uh, probably would have come out smooth like you see here. You can see definitely towards the end where I tried to do that. But anyways, I was able to print a mask, which came out really good. Um, another GoPro uh, tripod holder. Um, yeah, so I mean, the printer itself is pretty good. Um, it's affordable for what it is. It's under 300 bucks, um, but I definitely recommend it. Um, came with a bunch of tools too, but um, yeah, I mean overall, it's a really good printer. Uh, Teddy approves. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't gotten a 3D printer and looking for something under 300 bucks, uh, I would say this is definitely, definitely a good uh, buy. Uh, something to take a look at. Um, yeah. And not only that, um, you know, I don't know if you could tell, I had a glass bed one, but this from the Ender, which is magnetic, is fantastic. So when you have things that are super hard to get off, you could literally take it off and bend it and it comes off. Um, but yeah, it's nice touch screen. Um, you know, you could go into your uh, SD card here. Which I'll tell you, one of the cool parts about this, and some of them don't have, is this change TF. Where a lot of times you have to literally shut off the printer, turn it back on, and uh, it kind of sucks that you have to do that sometimes. You know, it's another step that you don't need. But um, overall, I do like how the fact that this printer does have uh, sensors here to know how far it can go down. But overall, this was a really good and fast uh, 3D printer to put together. Um, but uh, yeah, just wanted to share that. Oh, and the power supply right there, which is perfect. Uh, it's hidden away on like the Creality um, CX, I think it was 300, uh, that I had. Yes, this is smaller than it, but um, I can. it's a pretty decent volume. Uh, you know, I'm not printing vases and stuff, so it's, it's okay. But um, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this because uh, I've been printing and working on 360 video, which eventually uh, we'll be uploading on our channel and doing on Twixel. But this little teeny thing took 8 minutes and 51 seconds to print. Um, so a little longer than I would have liked. I thought it was going to be a four-minute print, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways, guys, uh, have a good day, good night. Um, and, uh, hopefully we'll get back into some 3D printing stuff and Teddy, uh, Teddy, say goodbye. Uh, Teddy says goodbye.